really do it for me. <laughs> what, what's the challenge this week with the way Kentucky runs the ball uh, based on what you guys just went up against with Auburn? Really about the same. You know, they do the little wildcat split zone, really, counter power. Really, it's some of the same stuff that we faced the last few against Auburn. Same one, same one. How, uh, how much do you think they can give you trouble? And obviously, you guys uh, had a rough game compared to how well you guys have played all season and, you know, how much, uh, how much of a challenge will it be for you guys to get back? Yeah, it'll be a big challenge because they got a great team, great running back, great offensive line. So it's going to be another big challenge just like, like, just like it was last week. Do you look forward to getting back on the field, especially when you guys had the performance you had up front last week? Oh, yeah, I'm ready to get back out there so we can prove like everybody that there wasn't the Georgia that was supposed to be out there last week. How much of a, a hit to the pride is it for you when you know coach tells us you can't get off blocks and you know they won the physicality battle? Hurt me to my heart to hear coach, coach tell me that. But you know, this practice, you just got to work, keep working hard and get better each and every day of practice. Um, did you feel like things were Things uh, are any different after the game and on Sunday, um, being coming off a loss rather than a win. Yeah, it felt kind of different because usually, you know, you wake up, you wake up happy because you won Saturday night. But when I woke up Sunday, I was a little hurt. I really didn't get no sleep. Felt bad. How much sleep do you think you actually got? <laughs> I got about, I say, about six. That's a good night for me. <laughs> Anything in particular keeping you awake, or was it just kind of the whole? Just thinking about like it was. It really shocked me that we lost. I was just in shock. Yeah, Coach Smart has said on a few occasions he's not really happy with how this team is tackling right now. How much do you think that played into the game or the result against Auburn? And what can you do to work on that? Well, just gotta start tackling better at practice. Like today was a physical practice. We was tackling better than we was last week. Uh, you were talking about, you know, kind of, you know, maybe had trouble sleeping and all that. When were you able to kind of stop focus on that and, and start focus on Kentucky? Or how long, how did that take? It took me to like Sunday night because okay. Sunday morning I woke up and came over here and watched it. After that, I watched it. I, I feel better after that. Gotcha. How about uh, more? Go ahead, Brandon. Um, so, so after all, really, there were players that said the defense didn't play to the standard that it did. I mean, uh, what were kind of your thoughts on how? You guys kind of came out and performed there. And, um, yeah. yeah, I feel like we didn't play to our standard either because really and truly, like, they had too many rushing yards on us, and that's not our defense. I felt bad knowing that they had that many rushing yards on us. How, demor how, how demoralizing is it when, when you lose those battles? I mean, when you're seemingly trying to break through that wall and, and, you, and you can't? Hard. Bad. <laughs> you said uh, after you came up here and watched the tape on Sunday, you felt a little better. Was there anything in particular? I just seen like we were making mistakes. Like, that's, like we had like mistakes that if we would have did or accomplished to play right, you know, this stuff would never happen. Was that just you that came watch film, or was that with the team? Or? No, with defensive line. Defensive line. Yes, sir.